The beauty world can be incredibly overwhelming. With new launches almost every day, it's impossible to know which products we really need. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about my makeup bag essentials, the products I think you really need. This one's from Muji. I love it because it's such a good size and it's clear so you can see what you wanna get out. I'm gonna talk you through all the products and why I think they're so great. The Too Faced Hangover Primer is my absolute favourite, I've actually just finished this one. I like it because it isn't a silicone based primer so it doesn't feel too slippy, it just feels really hydrating on my dry skin and it's a great base before putting on your foundation. For foundation I've obviously picked the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. It has the coverage of a foundation but the finish of a tinted moisturiser so it's really hydrating, it's really glowy. I like to mix two shades and apply it with a sponge, but you can also use your fingers. It's got such a nice lemony scent, which I think is really nice and refreshing in the morning when doing your makeup. For concealer, I've picked this one from Maybelline because I think the sponge applicator, although it's not the most hygienic, it's so easy to use and I've really been enjoying this recently. It's got really good coverage, but it's not cakey. It has a really nice glowy finish to it. For powder, I've picked this one from Hourglass, which is Dim Light, because it's the least powdery powder ever. It softens and diffuses the light on your skin and sets your makeup, but you really can't detect that there's any powder on the skin. This is by far my favorite powder. For bronzer, I actually asked on Twitter and so many of you guys said this is your favorite. It's from The Body Shop, it's the Honey Bronzer. I love it too, it's so nice, it's got a matte finish. It comes in quite a few different shades and for me it's just the perfect everyday bronzer. For blusher, I've picked one from Bobbi Brown because Bobbi Brown has an amazing selection of blusher shades and I would recommend picking one that's the colour that you naturally flush when you're like hot or embarrassed. Pick that colour and it will definitely look good on you. For highlight, I've picked Hush from MAC. I wore this on my wedding day and I absolutely love it. It's a cream colour base so it really kind of meshes with the skin looks really natural, makes your skin look plump, and I love the golden peachy shade. For brows, I like to use a pencil and a clear brow gel. If you have thinner brows than I do, then you can also use a powder and a brush for a really natural look. But I just like using the spoolie to brush through my brows, and then I use the really thin pencil just to fill in where there are any gaps. The clear brow gel just sets everything in place and keeps them in the same place all day. For eyeshadows, I've kind of put together my ultimate MAC quad. In this quad is all that glitters, cork, saddle and woodwinked and here I'm just using woodwinked all over the lid and under the eye. It's such a gorgeous bronzy shade and it works really well for day or for night. I love wearing eyeliner. If you like black liquid liner, throw one of those in your makeup bag but I'm a brown coal liner kind of girl and I love just putting it on the top of my lash line. It defines everything and looks great. For mascara, I picked a waterproof formula because I think this works really well for day and night. It's gonna last longer, it's gonna keep the curl longer in your lashes and this one from Bourjois just gives so much length to my lashes which is why I really like it. It's a bit more subtle but very pretty. I don't think you need more than two lip products in your makeup bag, a nude and something a bit more bold. For the nude lip, I've picked this one from Hourglass. It's really creamy, it's really easy to wear. There are quite a few shades to pick from in the range. This is like a really nice peachy nude and I really like it. For a slightly more bold shade, I've picked this liquid lipstick from Stila. I'm not that into red anymore, but this is like a deep berry shade. I think it's really pretty, really flattering. And because it's a liquid lipstick, you know it will set and stay in place and last all evening. I think with these products, you can make a really pretty makeup look. And please leave me a comment to let me know what you guys thought of this video. I've also put together a playlist of all of my videos from January. So if you think you've missed any, just click on the playlist here on the screen and you can watch all of my videos from January. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.